What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Here's today's lesson. Uh, we are continuing on electrons, and we're going to start what we call electron config. So here's what you're going to want to open. You are going to want a periodic table. You are going to want the worksheet. So the worksheet's going to follow the notes. Uh, it's not perfect right out of the gates, but for the most part, it'll follow. It'll follow the notes right along. Okay, so just fill in as you go. I'll do a bunch of problems with you. And then there at the end, there's a couple ex uh, for you to do. Alrighty. So I'm just going to right off say that this seems just very foreign and it'll seem like a different language. And it kind of is, but it just takes practice and you'll be golden. Okay. So we're talking about electrons and we're saying uh, electrons have these things called orbitals. Right. And when they, they have orbitals, we there there's a region of space with a high probability of fi finding electrons. So to this point, we just have had said there's a nucleus and there's electrons that go around the outside. And that's true, but not really, okay? Um, they have a little bit more of a defined space, okay? And just the next slide is just going to be kind of overwhelming, but it's the front page of your packet, and they're just shapes, okay? The first orbital, all you need to know is that there's a thing called S orbital, all righty? And it just looks like a sphere. That's it, S orbital. Sphere, just so when you see these letters, you can kind of be like this. And just back to our definition, there's the nucleus. It's a region of space where you could find an electron, any area in that. It's not a perfect circle as far as we say. It could be anything. So that's the electrons are on the move. You got what we call P. So there's an S, there's a P. It's a region of space where you could find an electron anywhere in that like lobe right there. Next one is a D. All right, so S, P, D, you got a region of space where you could find an electron. Big deal, just a certain shape. You won't have to draw them. And there's what we call an F. So you got three things. You got an S, you got a P, you got a D, and you got an F, all right? And they're just shapes, basically regions of spaces where you can find an electron. Okay, so now here's the code in the language, all right? This is like your house address. Everybody has a house address that they relate to, right? Uh, 8809, um, Coral Street, Northeast, Ham Lake, Minnesota, 55304. So basically what you have is every element on the periodic table has an address and it's based on this electron configuration. All right. So we have addresses that we pertain to that we care about for these, for these elements. All right. So now here's the notation of it. All right, it's called SPDF notation. The first number indicates what level it's in. So if I go to my periodic table, you can see you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that indicates what uh, orbital it's in, okay? Or what level, what like what region. The next indicates what shape it's in. Now the periodic table, is broken up into what we call S. Oh, let me pause here. Okay, sorry, this will be easier now. So you got these numbers, that's the first digit, is down the side, what level it's in. The next indicates, hey, here's where you can find these S, P, D, or F. So they're kind of like neighborhoods. The S block, is right here, these two columns, okay? The P block is right here, these columns, okay? So, and then the D block is the middle, all right? And then the F block is down here, these, these ones down here, all right? So there's neighborhoods, essentially. So now if I say I have a one S, I'm referring to this, these these two boxes right here helium actually is right there okay but if i say i have a 2p is referring to this neighborhood all right so we're getting closer on the address all right so first number is what level it's in second number is what block it's in okay so that's that's kind of how that is laid out and the last thing that you need to know about the address is like the specific house address all right and each time it still make more sense as we go. Each time you start a new level and a new block, it goes one, two, one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's just it's just every time you start a new block, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It just basically pertains to the house number on that street, all right, in that neighborhood. So that's what you're gonna see, and there's a specific way to fill that as we go. Okay. So let's do a couple. How we show electrons in these boxes, you'll see is we so we usually say one arrow up and one arrow down. You can only do two per box, all right? So there's this filling order, all right? There's a very specific way to fill. Just like Drake says, start from the bottom, now I'm here. And same thing. Every time you start at the bottom and you fill up, two arrows per line. Sound good? So you can find that in your notes. Um, you just, this is always, you'll always have this. And as long as you fill from the bottom up, you'll be golden. So let's try one. All right, let's just try. Now, what you need to know is you need to know how many electrons each element has. So hydrogen has one proton, therefore it has one electron. So I'm gonna put one electron in the box. Rules are this, start from the bottom, one arrow, okay? It's got one electron, so then I write it out. One, S, one. That's hydrogen's house address, okay? 1s1. Okay, let's go find helium. Helium has got two electrons because it's got two protons. All right, so I'm going to put two arrows in. You always fill one up and you always fill one down, two per box. Okay, so helium has got two electrons, 1s2. Sweet. That's its address. Lives at 1s2. Two. Let's do beryllium, B E. Let's find that one. B E. It's got four. It's got four. Okay, so it's got four electrons. I'm going to have four arrows. <clears throat> so I start at the bottom. Two per box. One, two, three, four. Write everything out. One S. 2, 2s2. Two, two. Pretty straightforward. That's its address. It lives at 1s2, 2s2. Sweet. So the rule of thumb is you always start at the bottom, no matter what. Okay? You don't have to memorize that. It's called the off bow rule. Now, when you do this, it might be easier just to write it on a piece of paper rather than typing it in because you have to do a superscript to get it up. It's just going to take a while. So we'll talk about at the end what you what you possibly can do. But I would be writing these on a separate sheet of paper as I go. Okay, the next rule is this. When you have equal level boxes, everybody must get in a pair of electrons before you pair. All right. It's like thinking about like this. If you go to Thanksgiving and you're having dessert, I'd be pissed if my brother got a piece of the pie, two pieces of pie before I got one. And we're the same. We're the same. We're, we got the same last name. We're the same. So I'd be pissed. So let's just do what we do. Start at the bottom. Boron has got five. All right. So five electrons, five arrows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Write it out. One S two, two S two, two P one. Alrighty, so on and so forth, okay? 1s1, 2s2, you have to forget my handwriting. Now let's do carbon. Okay, we'll do carbon. Carbon's got six, alrighty? It's got six. So it's got six electrons. Now I write, fill it out. Six, one, two, one up, one down, three, four. That's got two, so I now go to the next one. Three, four, it's six. Six. Now, here's why we do this. Everybody gets a piece of the pie if you're in the same buy, same level. You can't pair up this one because that's not fair to these other ones. But it writes out the same. One S2, two S2, two P2. All right? That's cool. That's another rule. Just simple rules just from practicing. 
nitrogen. Let's find nitrogen. It's got seven. Go ahead, take some time and do that one quick. Nitrogen has got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody gets up piece of the pie before you start to pair in that area. So it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. And if you add the if you add the 2 and the 2 and the 3, that equals 7. All right, let's do oxygen. 8. Okay, it's got 8. So now by now, you know, kind of know just builds on each other. So I got 8. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All righty. Write it out. One S, two, two S, two, two P, four. All right, that's eight electrons. Starting to get the hang of it probably now. So now the last thing you should remember, I already told you, you can only do two arrows per box. So let's do chlorine here quick. I'm going to pause the video so you can. You can do chlorine, figure out how many electrons it has. It's got 17. 17. So you're going to do 17 arrows. Go ahead. Okay. So when I do this, <clears throat> 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now write it all out. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. That's a longer address. Oh, 3p5. Sorry. 3p5. Okay. That's a longer address, but that's kind of the name of the game. Calcium, it's got 20. Alrighty, it's got 20. So let's do 20 arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yay, write it on out. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Okay, so that's kind of how you do electron configuration is you always start at the bottom, two arrows per box, one up, one down, and if you have the same boxes in the level, you have to fill them all up before you fill them down. Okay, now here's what I want you to do on your worksheet. Okay, use this ch chart and just type in how many electrons. Okay, if you want to type it in your worksheet using a superscript, it's control, uh, control period, I believe, that gets you a superscript. Okay, it gets it put it puts it up like that. I would just write it out and then take a snapshot and then put it on the Google Doc. Okay, but you got six problems to try. That's it. That's your assignment for today. Let me know if you need help. Okay. Let us know. Um, and that's the electron configuration. That's how you figure out an atom's address.